Welcome back everybody. It has been a minute, but we're back with another herping adventure. We're gonna head about um, an hour south of Austin, Texas, and we're gonna go out, do some night cruising, maybe get out and shine a little bit. Now that it's finally heated up at night, so I'm pretty excited. Hopefully there is uh, some decent activity with the herps and whatnot. So I will catch up with you guys when we get there, when we get into the swamp and We'll see what kind of cool creatures we can find. Big red-eared slider right there that my mom just spotted. Good spot. Uh, did see a diamondback water snake, but could not get our hands on it. That's it so far. All right, guys, I just came across an absolutely gorgeous broadband hanging out right there along the side. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on them real quick. All right, guys, first snake in hand of the day. Got a nice adult broadband and water snake right here. Looks like a big male out here looking for females doing his thing. Saw a couple more over here in the bush hanging out. But it's a beautiful animal. Cool to see. Grab some pictures and uh, let this big boy on his way. All right, guys, just caught a beautiful broadband and water snake right here. Uh, I did see a plain belly, but we did not get our hands on it. But check out this little one. Looks like a little female, potentially. And right up here, I have the biggest fishing spider I have ever seen. Oh my god. I mean, that thing is ridiculously big. <laughs> we have a new species for the night. That is a Texas rat snake right there on the rocks. Up under this bridge here. We'll see if I can get a hold of him. Give you guys a closer look. Oh, there's a bird. Interesting. Well, as soon as I said that, um, he disappeared into the rocks when I got a little bit closer. So, unless he comes back out, it doesn't look like we are getting a hold of him. But still cool. Got to see a Texas rat snake for the night. Well, immediately after that, I walked up in this huge snake skin right here. Not quite sure what that is. Maybe a big rat snake or coach whip or something like that. But the snakes are definitely around. Clean bellied water snake right there. Hunting for fish. Picked up this beautiful little broadband and water snake right here. Look at those colors. That's a gorgeous snake. This is what we came here looking for mainly. I'm sure you can see why. Beautiful flame coloration on these things. So cool. Big plain bellied water snake right there. What's going on? So this is just a little um, intermission clip that I wanted to add in before the next scene, but basically the next scene I'm gonna be in New Jersey. Uh, we went there initially to see my family, but I did get out for a little bit of herping and got to see a couple things in the a uh, small span of time I had to do it. So definitely uh, an exciting little trip to a state that I haven't been into, uh, haven't been to in years. So I definitely had a good time. I hope you guys enjoy it and here it is.
flat around there. Yeah. Big old snake skin right there. Not sure what kind. Guessing either black rat snake, black racer, or eastern king, which would be incredible if we could see one. This is Cedar Lake. Grew up coming here since I was like six years old. Looks pretty much the same. All kinds of stuff here. King snakes, black rats, everything. Uh, Nerodia, beavers. Ooh, this would be good. If I can get down there better. Uh, nah, it's super moldy. Wet. Um, watch it. Man, this thing's been here forever. Oh, I see it. Is that a black rat? I think that's a rat. No. I think so. Another one? Yeah, yeah, it's a rat snake. You want to try and get it? You do. Want me to film it? Sure, it's already filming. That's a, it's in a bad spot. Yeah. Should yeah. I go behind it? This way, and don't let them get in that. I yeah. try to. You want help or is filming more important? Um, either or. You tell me. If it's a racer, there's no way I'm getting my hands on it. But... It could be. I think you're right about it. I think no. I think it's a rat. Would you rather me help you or do or to film me? Um, what do you want to do? Well, if I we've got a better chance of getting it if I hold on, let me see if I can put this on here. Keep your eye on him. The way he's um, kinked up, I'm thinking rat green. Yeah, I'm pretty I think sure. He would have shot already. Them. Here, just. Well, don't you want me to film it? Yeah, yeah sure. Is it still filming? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a rat snake. Don't let him come this way. I'll come behind him. Come behind him. Right here? Yes, if he comes in here, we'll lose him in this stuff. No, yeah, directly behind him. So he comes out that way. That thing is pitch black. Oh my god. I, just letting you pick him up? Yep. Oh, he's coming at you now. Oh my god. Oh. Picture perfect black rat. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Black rat, aka Eastern Rat Snake, right here in the middle of nowhere, New Jersey. Area I grew up coming to. Perfect. Wow. I mean, this look how look how dark it is. I mean, a little bit of pattern, but it was stinking me a little bit. That's nice. Not too big. About close to maybe three feet. So cool. Just let me pick it up. Completely relaxed. A black racer would have uh, definitely shot off by now. Probably would have not gotten my hands on it, but what an awesome find. <laughs> That's crazy. Chris saw him just sitting over there. So cool. <laughs> oh, 
the salmon are doing. I can't believe you spotted them. <laughs> so cool. Jersey black rat snake. Don't get much better. Literally been since I was six years old coming to New Jersey looking for catching these snakes. I've only caught a few ever for some reason. They just, you know, haven't been terribly easy to come across for us. It's usually super hot. This morning's perfect. Got a nice overcast, about 77 degrees ish. And within 15 minutes of being out here at Cedar Lake, we got this gorgeous black rat. That is exactly what you want to see <laughs> yeah, he was just hanging out right there my dad spotted him in the bushes and as soon as i got closer to it i mean the fact that it didn't shoot away yet i was pretty um pretty sure it was a black rat and not a racer because uh racers are pretty quick to bolt but uh very happy about that. <clears throat> Look at how perfect this snake is. Look at that belly. Black and white checkered. <laughs> you want to hold it? So cool. The quality of this new camera, this new phone camera is insane. All right, my dad's gonna release this black rat snake we just found, right where we got it. Just went up under this brush pile right here. Sweet. Hopefully we'll see this snake, you know, for years to come when we come back to this area. See what other kind of cool animals we can find. That's a great sign. See a black rat snake out trying to bask a little bit before it gets too hot. Big wasp. The bird nest. Swallow. It's almost too big. I mean, I'm sure there are rat snakes in here, but. Maybe in this box. Alright, so we just walked in this abandoned building and there is a big snake skin right here. 
definite rat snake. And then a second snake skin right there. That one almost looks like it might have been hung by somebody. Um, but it is definitely possible the snake used it to shed its skin. Now we're just trying to find the snakes. snake I think it's a big ass racer yeah, yeah hold this I'm gonna grab its tail if it's still there oh my god his head's right there now get a video of that oh. you see him yeah he went under oh. Racers here get bigger than the rat snake. That's big. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at that snake. Just get him to calm down. Big North American northern black racer right here. Pitch black. Let me wipe this poop off. from under this rug over here. <laughs> what a gorgeous snake. Good size, right? How big? Four? <laughs> big enough to tear you up. Yeah, four feet and thick. Look at that snake. Can you get a close-up? <laughs> These big northern black racers out here will hunt and eat just about anything, including other snakes, rodents, amphibians, turtles even. I mean, they, they're ruthless. We just saw a couple rat snake skins over in this little abandoned hut. You know, this guy hanging out under a rug. That's beautiful. These are a bit different than the Southern black racers we have down in Florida and very different from the yellow belly racers over in Texas, but very beautiful, very, look how black and just gorgeous this thing is a little white chin on them they remind me of coach whips with their size for sure super fast snakes they will bolt instantly the only reason i got my hands on this is because of uh him hanging out under this rug over here but beautiful animal surprisingly relaxed go grab some pictures of them and then we'll release them in the under the rug Oh yeah, this is where you'll see a snapper. They keep popping up and then going back under. Look at him. <laughs> I want to get a video of that. It's a bunch of, I don't know if they're bullfrogs or um, pig frogs, but there's a few of them hanging out in here. One just popped up in the middle there. There's one right there. Seeing if there's any snakes hanging out around this water hole. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff if you haven't already. I haven't been able to get out a whole lot lately uh, just due to work. 
uh, personal reasons, but I should be able to start getting out again soon. The only issue with that is the time of year is definitely getting colder out. So the days where the animals are actually moving or sitting under um, some light cover like wood and uh, pieces of tin and stuff is they're dwindling. There's very few. So I'm going to try and um, get out maybe a couple more times soon. But if not, uh, I definitely plan to start putting in a lot of work this coming up spring in a few months. So anyways, that's going to be about it for this episode. And again, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.